Sometimes when you take an idea that seems so simple, add a few rules and suddenly you have a fantastic game and Bandu is certainly no exception. On the surface, it might seem like a box of wooden blocks, but add in some very unique and interesting shapes and you've opened the door to creativity and a whole lot of fun. There's an auction mechanic because you might not necessarily get the pieces you need to complete your structure. Let's take a look at it. There are four distinct ways to play the game. Through an auction mechanic, players will attempt to use their gems to bid on wooden pieces they want for their structure, or perhaps don't want. Some pieces lend themselves to being fantastic for building with, others pose more of a challenge. As people build their structure, there are specific Zoc blocks that are not allowed to be used for the base. Each player will receive 10 gems. The active player picks a piece to present for auction. Using the gems to bid, the player with the highest bid will win the piece and add it to their structure. The other type of auction is by refusal. As the red pieces tend to be more awkward, people are actually bidding to not take the piece. Whoever doesn't bid, gets it. While generally the tallest tower will win, you can also just have fun with it and get creative. While certainly challenging your dexterity and your hand-eye coordination, it's a game that's fun at any age.